Hi, this is The Peaceful Prepper, and today I want to share a quick tip about an iPhone app that my friend Andy introduced me to. Since I put together my video on hearing protection, which I'll link below and try to put a link on the video up here if I can, I've been much more interested in, in paying attention to the noise levels around me and protecting my ears. And these apps, which are decibel meters, could be a tool to help do that. There are actually several apps. Let me bring it close. I have four there. I just downloaded them from the, these are iPhone apps, but I'm sure Android has a comparable kind of thing. And these were all free versions. There are more expensive versions, you know, from one to $5. But for me, the free versions seemed perfectly adequate. And you can maybe see, I don't know how clear it is. That in fact, several of them are even just called decibel meter. So just take a look um, when you search the, the app store, um, because I can't even direct you to a particular one. So let me just show you what they can do. Okay. So this that's called free decibel meter. And it has a, let me stop it. It has sort of a fast and slow, and I tend to put it on the slow. I think you can, can see. So let me reset it and put it to play. And it can be kind of mesmerizing to, to see what it does. You can tell it's louder when I'm talking. And the background noise here seems to be about 50 decibels. And there is um, quite a bit going on outside. I don't think the it'll be picked up on the video, but I'm in the city and there's definitely background noise. So let me just show you the interface of the others. So they seem to be pretty much the same and just whatever interface you like. Another called decibel meter. Now I did, this one has, actually let me, I think I can reset it. No, I've forgotten how to reset it. Reset. I'll put that on. Apparently, um, peak and max are not the same thing in the world of noise meters as you might imagine. When I googled it, it seems max is what you'd expect, um, the maximum decibels. And peak is, I didn't quite understand, but it's related to the C level decibels rather than the A level decibels, and there's a time factor. For my purposes, I didn't really need to understand it. Um, if you're interested, I put a link below that sort of I found when I just Googled it at the first pass. I don't even know how good a source it is, but it's a place to start if you're interested. And let me show you the last one. This one is called Decibel 10, which is a different name. I wouldn't expect these to be precise. In fact, just this level of conversation, it seems like 70 to 80 seems a little bit high. So I, I definitely wouldn't expect these to really be reliably precise. The microphone on your phone is not a professional quality, so it, everything has to go through there. And these are just free apps. They all state they're for entertainment purposes. But it's interesting to get a general idea of the noise levels you're exposed to regularly. And you can definitely use these to compare noise levels. I'm guessing that this is running a little bit high, but it's just a guess. I don't really don't really know. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Be safe, be happy.